Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you how to get PS1, PSP and PSP emulator bubbles on your PS Vita's home screen. So if you guys want to do this, all you want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. You then just want to press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so the link will be the first link in the description and all you guys want to do is just click the Adrenaline Bubble Manager VPK and it will begin downloading. So this was updated about 10 days ago, so it's a pretty new um, you know, piece of software. But once it's finished downloading, all you want to do is just head over to your downloads folder and you will be able to find the VPK in there. And then all you want to do is just copy it onto your PS Vita. So I'm just gonna leave mine on the route like this. If you have a VPK folder, um, you can put it in there if you want to. So now I'll head over to my PS Vita and I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita, all you want to do is just close down this message and then go onto your URO or UXO, wherever you put the VPK. Um, then you want to just scroll down and you'll be able to find it. So here is my one, the Adrenaline Bubble Manager. So all you wanna do is just press X on it and then press X to install. So once it's finished installing, just press circle a few times and then close out of Vita Shell. And then you will find the bubble somewhere on your home screen, so here is mine. So all you want to do is just go and start it up. Right, so if yours doesn't load um, straight away like this, it's because it has to install the plugins folder. I've actually already tested this out, so I've actually already got the plugins folder. Um, you know on my memory stick, but if this doesn't um, load straight into it Then you will just have to install that and then restart your PS Vita But it's very simple and you can't really go wrong So once you're on the sort of main home screen like this It will just come up with your PSP games and your PS1 games and as you can see um, It's actually got my um, PSP emulators as well. It seems to work for those uh, if you're wondering why I've got two of everything, it's because I've got my SD to Vita in and my main memory card in and I've got a copy of both games on each one. So all you guys want to do is just find a game and down here it will say what it's on. So I'm going to get the one that's on my SD to Vita which is the top one right here. All you want to do is just press start on it. From here you can configure some extra settings um, but you don't really need to do that. So what you want to do is just press X on the game. Then it's going to come up with the name you want to call it. If you're happy with the default name, all you want to do is just tap the arrow down here. And then what it's going to do, it's going to start converting the resources and it's going to convert it onto your PS Vita's home screen. So just give it maybe like a minute or something like that. And then once it's done, all you want to do is just press your PS Vita home button. You can completely close up the bubble manager if you want to, and you will find your PSP game on the home screen. So here's mine, Deadhead Fred, and if I just press X on it, then I can just press X to start it. And as you can see, the game just loads up like normal. So this works with PSP emulators, PSP games, um, PS1 games, and it's actually really cool. So if you don't want to go into your adrenaline every time and you just want to boot them off the home screen, then um, this is how you do it. And basically, guys, this will be running with adrenaline right now. But if you double click the home button, um, it will just be in the actual game itself. So you can just close it down and everything like that. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool having your PSP games on your PS Vita's home screen. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.